All right, so welcome back. In today's video, I have two freight cars that I ordered to unbox. I bought them both the other day and are now here. So I have a thing in the back here, so this box is kind of close, so you can't really see the whole thing, but let's just get right into opening it. It's a Walther's Union Pacific track cleaning box car. Here's the second. It's a River Rossi PRR box car. So let's get the uh, box out of the way and go over both the cars. So here's the Walther's track cleaning car. It's the same Walther's box as all the other ones. The car is heavier because of the track cleaning pad, but I needed this for the club since you need a track cleaning car to be able to run a train. So instead of just gluing something to a Tyco, I can now use this one. So, let's just get this open. This one actually has a cover on the front of it. All the other um, train line cars I've had haven't had a cover. But yep, this is just the car. It feels really heavy, so hopefully it should work for the club, so... It'll work. It isn't the most modern car to go with my 1111, but it'll be a good thing for the club. So let's go on to the next car. So here's the River Rossi car. Until somewhat recently, I didn't even know they existed. I believe they're owned by Hornby. Yeah. And I thought they went away a long while ago and got sold out to Model Tower, but apparently they still exist. So. Let's get it out. Move the box off to the side. When you take it out, don't do what I just did. Drop it. It reminds me a lot of my um, Atherin locomotives when I got them. It's kind of like how they were packaged does, I believe, also have sliding doors. I like it. It's somewhat basic, but it'll be another good car to have on a train at the club. So, thanks for watching this short little unboxing video. I'll probably do a more in-depth review of these in the future, but for now, thanks for watching. If you want to see another unboxing video, click on the screen around now.